Welcome back to Fromania Bricks. We are ready to review two exciting new LEGO releases that we thought there was no better setting than in the sun on the driveway in front of the garage. With us today, we have two new McLaren LEGO releases. The first is the McLaren Formula One car. The second is Ayrton Senna's McLaren MP4-4. There is really no more iconic Formula One driver than Ayrton Senna. Really, I think the only thing that we're missing here today is a McLaren. Because how amazing would it be to compare these Lego creations to a legit, real McLaren? Unfortunately, that's not what we've got for you. So we're just gonna hang out on the driveway today and talk about these amazing McLaren formula. Daddy, we got one. Today we're gonna hop in a McLaren, go find somewhere quiet to park, and talk about these two amazing Lego McLaren releases. So why don't we go burn up a little road, check out a real life McLaren, while we talk about these two amazing Lego creations. And definitely not speed. Definitely not speed. Definitely not. Caleb, we are now sitting inside of a McLaren GT. A 612 horsepower V8 engine and lays down a sub three second zero to 60. This is truly an impressive machine and it's exciting to get to sit in it and talk about Lego. Yes. And review some of the amazing Lego sets put out by McLaren. You know, Lego and McLaren have partnered in the past there is a Lego McLaren P1. Mm -hmm. There is a Lego McLaren Senna. There's a Lego McLaren 720S, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. There is an F1, a Lego McLaren F1. A Lego McLaren F1, not the F1 car, but a Lego McLaren F1. And of course, two of the newest releases are the Speed Champions Lego McLaren F1 and the Ayrton Senna MP4/4. Formula One car. First, Caleb and I are going to talk about the McLaren F1 car. This came with an incredible minifig. It is yes. so cool. The print details on it are really, really neat. Yeah, so it's got a custom McLaren print on the helmet, which I've never seen before. Um, I think that they might have reused the legs from the um, Cinna that they did. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's a very clean figure. It is a typical yellow head minifig. Yeah. I had kind of hoped that they would actually do like a Lando Norris or an Oscar Piastri minifig, which would have been flesh tone. But we're pretending like this is Lando Norris anyway, because yes. of the McLaren drivers, Lando is certainly our favorite. Yes. We didn't get just a minifig though. Along with this, we also got another Speed Champions Formula One build. The other Formula One build that we had 
that was this scale in recent era was the Mercedes Petronas Formula One car as piloted by Lewis Hamilton. Of course, we've had other Formula One cars of this scale release in the past. Ferrari has done some with, I think that Kimi Raikkonen might have been portrayed in one of those. I know Schumacher was. And we also have a couple of different Formula One sets that came out with, I think it was Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton in the garage area. But with each set, you can really tell how far LEGO has taken the designing on the Speed Champions. This set is pretty wild. Caleb, I think you're the one that actually yes. built this, right? Uh, yep. What was this build like? I see some new elements that are a part of it. Yeah, there was a ton of new elements. There was like, I believe, almost 30 stickers. I might have counted wrong, but there was a ton of stickers, tons of new elements. Um, there are some prints mixed in. Um, it's weird. They have these sticker some print pieces. Um, I believe that the P0 medium tires might be new. Yeah, the, the tires look new with new print. The little Google Chrome hubcaps yes. are incredible. The amount of stickers on Speed Champions is wild. There are a lot of stickers, like yeah. Caleb said, that go into these Speed Champion sets. But it really brings it together as well. Without the stickers, it really wouldn't yeah. have the same aesthetic. It would be cool if they could print it all, but then we would be paying 50 bucks for a set like this. Yes. Of the current Speed Champions wave that's out, Caleb, what do you think of this one? Where does this rank on your list? It's my top. It's so amazing. The techniques, like there's spoons for the mirrors. Um, they use a ski piece um, for like the thing that, go, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but it goes there. Um, yeah, the wing techniques, some of the sloped angles that they made some new pieces of. Yeah, they did do some cool little angled pieces. It makes it really fragile. Yeah. These little DeWalt stickered pieces break off super easy yeah. if you don't hold it the right way. But the way that they built the halo and some of the other elements is super cool yeah. as well. So there's really a lot that goes into this to create a super cool Formula One car. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's head back to the house here and we're going to swap seats. So we can do the Ayrton Senna MP4 slash 4 iconic Formula One car. All right, Micah, I dropped your brother off and now you're riding shotgun in this 600 plus horsepower beast. Mm -hmm. How do you like riding in the McLaren? It's pretty awesome. It is really awesome. We should have added disclaimer. This is not our McLaren. This is a friend's McLaren that is gracious enough to let us enjoy it from time to time. And that's why we decided while we got the McLaren, we've got to review the McLaren. Talking about McLaren, this is the McLaren MP4 slash 4 Formula One car. The iconic car from the 1980s. This was Ayrton Senna's Formula One championship car. And this is one of my favorite Lego cars that has ever been created. So the construction on this car was super fun to build. There was a lot of new elements putting it together. Some of the suspension components were new. The minifig is one of my favorites though. Yes. You are holding the minifig and it has a really cool print on the helmet, which makes it one of my favorites. It has the iconic Senna logo and a really cool placard. What's that placard say? No matter what your dream is, you have to dedicate yourself entirely to it. It's funny we say that while sitting in a supercar. Yes. But we will not dedicate ourselves entirely to supercar. We probably will never own a supercar because if we ever had enough money to own yeah. a supercar, we would just buy more Lego. <laughs> that is the reality of the world that we live in. Like, what do you think overall of the aesthetic of this Formula One car? I like the aesthetic. As someone who's built the big UCS sets, I, I actually really appreciate it when they make smaller, nice display models. Like, I enjoyed the executor that was this scale i like this scale a lot like the size it's not overwhelming it keeps the price point in a good place where it's affordable and it's easier to display and i just like the compact feel of it yeah and i call this you said a smaller ucs i actually call this my first ever ucs <laughs> i don't own any star wars ucs sets but i feel like with the little placard sticker on here that it's my own little ucs now the stickers are very neat on it. Yeah, I find it interesting um, what they did and didn't do with them. I think it's neat to see Lego and Shell together again after the sets that they used to make with Shell. And um, I also think it's interesting they even decided to make it 
because of a brand which shall go unnamed that was on here that they kind of decided to exclude. Yep, there is one of Ayrton Senna's main sponsors that their badging was excluded from this and we get it being a Lego set for kids and it being an 18 and over product. It's not the wisest to have on their set. There are a lot of people that are creating stickers for this now that you can buy that will have that branding on it. But I think we're gonna keep it as is for now at least. There is a mix of printed and stickered tiles. Some of these on the back and on the front are actually mm. printed tiles. You see you've got this front is a print. You've also got these two that are prints as well. And then the rest of it is all stickers. It's super cool, the barge board, everything really came together. The back actually lifts off and you can see the V8 engine That's down in here. And my favorite detail, right next to the V8 engine, you'll see these three colors, which is the Brazilian flag. Because Ayrton Senna was a Brazilian driver, and that Lego included a Brazilian flag in yeah, this makes cool. it all the cooler. Honestly, I know that this review and the other review were pretty short. We just wanted to sit in a McLaren and talk about McLaren Lego sets, honestly, because it's not every day that you get to enjoy a McLaren. So. We wanted you to see the car, we wanted you to see this car, and we just wanted to talk about Lego with you all. Caleb, it's been super fun reviewing McLaren Lego in the McLaren. Yeah. We uh, are out in the McLaren and we got a little detoured here. We actually we actually wound up at Brixton Minifigs. Yay! So we're gonna end the video with this. Thanks for hanging out yeah. with us. Thanks for being a part of what we're doing. I know this video wasn't the best review, but the car was amazing and that's what it was about was we just wanted to have fun with this mclaren while we had it and it took us to here to bricks and minifigs so enough of that let's just get in there and shop we need you guys to go out there and continue to build together continue to do more to share more to love more keep building creativity together and keep sharing those smiles because smiles man they truly are contagious yeah. they're they're even more contagious than the smile that you get cruising around in a McLaren. So enough talking. Let's get in here to our favorite store and do a little shopping. Dude, that door though. Feel more, do more, share more in love.